So if we had a unit circle and we need to fill this in, we need to look at both filling in the degrees, the radians, and then the coordinates of the points uh, going around the unit circle. So let's start with the stuff we should, should know automatically. We should be starting here, and this is going to be our initial side. So we should have 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. And then as you're introduced to radian measure, you should know that you start at 0. It goes to pi, that's 180 degrees. Then we have 2 pi, is all the way around. Now, half of pi, the same way as half of 180 is 90, half of pi is going to be pi over 2. Then if we look down at 270, it's going to be pi plus pi over 2, or halfway between pi and 2 pi. If I was to ask you what's halfway between 1 and 2, you should hopefully know it's 1 and a half. If we write that as a fraction, 3 pi over 2. So we have our main values. Now we start breaking into the smaller pieces. Over here is where we get our common special right triangle values. And we should know that if we took 45, 30, and 60 from our 30, 60, 90 special right triangles, Here's our 45, 45, 90. We have, if the hypotenuse is 1, the legs are 1 over root 2, or root 2 over 2, if you're uh, rationalizing. And then in your 30, 60, 90, this is 30, 60. Hypotenuse is 1. Your shorter leg, opposite the 30, is 1 half. And then your longer leg is root 3 over 2. So we have those values there. And those are the ones we're going to use really throughout the, whole, throughout the whole circle. They just kind of shift and rotate around. Now, let's start with the radian measures of those. If I went from 180 to 45 degrees, I would divide by 4. So I'm going to do the same thing with pi. Divide that by 4, and we get pi over 4. 180 to 30, I would divide by 6. So that's going to be pi over 6. 180 to 60, it's going to be pi over 3, because I would divide by 3. Now, we continue over here. This is a rotation of these values 90 degrees. So I could add 90 to these and get the new angles. So that would give me 120, 135, and 150. Now, we can think of these as fractions compared to the 180, or it's really adding pi over 2 to these values. But let's think of the fractions. If I add 180 and 135, 135 is 3 fourths of the way to 180. Well, really, it's 2 pi over 4 plus a pi over 4. It's going to be 3 pi over 4. 120 is 2 thirds of the distance to 180, so that's 2 pi over 3. And then 150 is 5 pi over 6. We could also think of that one as it's 1 pi of a 6 short of halfway around the circle. So again, we take these, we now rotate them now, pi units are halfway around the circle. And this we can use just by adding with the fractions. Pi over 6 plus pi is 7 pi over 6. Because really, 6 pi over 6 is pi, plus pi over 6 gives us 7 pi over 6. Now, another way you can get to that. This is pi plus a pi over 6, or 6 pi over 6 plus the pi over 6. So it's that additional pi over 6 more than that. Now, what angle would that be? Well, we know pi over 6 is 30 degrees, so we add the 30 to 180 and get 210. The next one is pi over 4 plus pi, so that's 5 pi over 4 which is 235 degrees. And then we get a pi over 3 past pi, which is 4 pi over 3, or 240 degrees. Oops, this one should be 225. Okay, now we're back here at 270. So this is a 270 degree rotation or a 3 pi over 2 rotation. Our new angles are 300, 315, and 330. 
we're going to add another uh, pi over 3 to 4 pi over 3 to get us to 5 pi over 3. We get 7 pi over 4 and last 11 pi over 6. These are also one of these units short of 2 pi. So for example, 11 pi over 6 is a pi over 6 short because this would be 12 pi over 6. So we've gotten all of our values filled in. Now let's go with the coordinates. The easy ones you should get are the axes. So this would be one unit to the right, zero units up. From the origin, this would be zero units to the right, one unit up. One unit to the left, or negative one, zero. And then no units um, horizontally, one unit down. Now there's, for these rest of these, we're going to use these triangles that we have. So let's start with the 45, 45, 90. That's the easier one to look at. So in the 45, 45, 90, or example, if I had that 45 degree angle, that's like I'm imposing that 45 degree triangle right here. I would go over and up root 2 over 2. So the coordinates are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. It's isosceles. I did the same amount. Now, if I look over here in quadrant 2, the numbers are the same except I have a negative because in quadrant 2, my x is negative. So this is negative root 2 over 2, positive root 2 over 2. Now, down in quadrant 4, down in this bottom right corner, we took this one and now made the y value negative. So root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. And down the bottom left, they're both negative because they're in quadrant 3, negative root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. Now, let's work with the 30, 60, 90. So here we have a 30 degree angle. So that's looking at this triangle in the direction it's facing. I went over root 3 over 2 and up 1 half. So that's going to be my value for the coordinate. 60 degrees. Well, that's this one, but rotated. We'll draw that. So now it's root 3 over 2 is the vertical, 1 half is the horizontal, and 1 is still the hypotenuse. So we went over 1 half, up root 3 over 2. Now, the same way with the 45, 45, 90, the rest of these are just going to be a change in the x or y value, or both, depending on what quadrant it's going to be in. So I look here at 120 degrees. That is this point reflected across the y-axis, so that's going to result in the x-axis, x value becoming negative one-half, and the y is still root 3 over 2. For 150, I'm going to take this value here and make it negative for the x, and still positive for the y. Looking down in quadrant 4, this is a reflection of 30 degrees. It reflects down. The x is now positive still, but the y is negative. And then we're going to take the 60 degrees, reflect it down. The x is positive. The y is negative. And then finally, over in quadrant 3, they're both going to be negative here. So this is the pi over 6 added to pi. So we're going to take both of these and make them negative. Negative root 3 over 2, 1 half. And this is our 60 degrees. So this is going to be these coordinates, both negative. Negative 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. We've now filled it in. We have all our coordinates. I'll put a link at the end of this video if you'd like to have a PDF version of what I've just filled in.